Today we're having another look at the German dance by Haydn. Um, I made this ridiculously long introduction video uh, where I discussed everything you needed to know. Yeah, we talked about the time signature, 3-4. The key signature, 2 sharps, F sharp and C sharp, which means we're in D major. The finger pattern, yeah. We're not using the G string, but in case you want to know, there's a third and fourth finger against each other on the G string. The second and third finger against each other on the middle two strings, which we will be using in the first and second finger against each other on the E string in D major. The third line, you can see a bunch of G sharps, which means for those three bars, you're going to have a high second finger on the E string. So now suddenly you have two, three against each other on all three strings, but only for a couple of bars, yeah? Because then it goes back to G natural. And then we go back to the beginning. I discussed the structure, the first, the second, and the fourth group of four bars are almost identical. Yeah, All of them begin with a long scale, has a slightly different ending to it. And the second group and the last group are identical except for the last note. Yeah, So there's not that much to practice, the only big contrast is the third group of four bars where you have the G-sharps and slurs, yeah. So, I did the initial video, each four bars repeated four times. Today, we're just going to play through the piece, as written, but we stay equally slow. So we're at 60 beats per quaver, per one eighth note, yeah. That is exactly the same as doing 30 beats a minute for a quarter note. Only 30 beats a minute is really slow and really hard to stay together with. So I prefer to do 6 beats per bar at 60 beats, then 3 beats per bar at 30. So each click on the metronome is half a beat. Yeah, it's a uh, one-eighth note, a quaver. So, also please pay attention to the bowings. Yeah, getting the bowings right from the start is very important to learn a piece swiftly, yeah. The more you confuse yourself with your bowing, the more time it's going to take for you to learn this piece. So, have a look. I'll make sure that when we do the repeats, you can see the bowing. And so, try to copy the bowing as well, yeah. Here we go. Let's build to our first note, the D, A, B, C sharp, and D. And I'm going to count you in until six, yeah, six quavers per bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. G sharp, A, 
G sharp. A. T natural next. Scale again. Rest, prepare the A, A, slur. That is the whole piece. Yeah, I did in the repeats focus mainly on where the slurs are. Everything that wasn't a slur obviously was separated. Um, remember that tricky bowing when we go from the second time bar to the third line. When you have the tempo on the D, up on the low D, up. On the A, yeah. So if you still struggle with this, do practice it a couple of times. And remember, you can prepare the fifth, the D, third finger on the A string, and the A, third finger on the E string. You can place your finger between both strings. Now you don't have to move your finger. All you have to think about then is a down bow, short up bow, continue the up bow on the E string. So you can stop in the middle and change strings silently, yeah? So before you move on to the next one, make sure that the notes and the bowings are correct, yeah? Um, next we speed things up, we're going to go to 80 beats for a quaver and uh, I will then also repeat it at 40 beats for a graphic chat. So you can see that 40 and 40 beats for a quarter note and 80 beats for a one eight note is exactly the same thing yeah um yeah i'll see you there good luck 